title. Oh, it did. Oh, and you're perfectly Mike Wazowski. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Sooner or Later podcast. I'm your host, Joey, and this week we're doing Blockers. Blockers is directed by Kay Cannon, uh, written by Brian K- Kayho and Jim Kayho. Oh, that's kind of cool if they're related. That'd be wild if they're not. Cinematography by Russ Alsobrook. Uh... Edited by Stacy Schroeder. Music by Matteo Messina. Production companies were Universal Pictures, Good Universe, Point Grey Pictures, Her- Hurwitz, and Schloss- Schlossberg Productions. So Jewish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super Jewish. Uh, D- and DMG Entertainment, distributed by Universal Pictures. Uh, with release dates of March 10th, 2018 uh, at South by Southwest and April 6th, 2018 in the wider United States. Blockers has a runtime of 102 minutes. A budget of $21 million, and as of July 16th, has brought in a worldwide box office of $94 million and a total estimated domestic video sales of $9 million. Blockers has an 84% on the tomato meter with 229 reviews, a 51% audience score with 5,000 plus ratings. It's because China, John Cena. A Metacritic meta score of 69 by 46 critics and a user score of 6.2 with 156 ratings. But the people whose opinions matter most are ours, and you're getting 10 minutes of spoiler free starting now. Wow, another week, another audience score that is absolutely bananas. Why? So I was reading some of the audience but, things because I already had seen the movie, so I already knew roughly what the scores were. Right. And another thing where it's like, oh, the humor at points is raunchy for the sake of being raunchy type situation. I'm going to just move it. Yeah. Where yeah. it's just like, it's a rated R comedy about cock blocking. Yeah, like, it's literally, they say the premise of the movie in the first 30 minutes. We're going to go cock block those, our children. Yeah, it's those, <laughs> it's those teenage, like, sex crazed movies like American Pie. Mm-hmm. And then you expect, like, oh, my God, these, these girls are talking about sex. How can sex. they? Oh, no. <laughs> um, I I think this is, like, the one of the few times where, I've, like, the first time I saw John Cena, I was like, oh, he can actually kind of do some stuff. Like, he reminds me of Schwarzenegger, where it's just, like, Bro, you're way too big to be a suburban dad, so it's funny to me. Cause it's just but like, it's good. There's no reason he should be an average dad because, like, how big he is. But honestly, though, other than the visual, he he plays the role. Yeah. It's I, believable. Yeah. If he wasn't the size of an albino silverback gorilla, yeah. he would be a yeah. dad. I'd be like, yeah, this is a dad. He's, yeah. he's a, it's a Terry Crews situation, you know? Like, Terry yeah. has these roles, but, like, I think they do their job. Yeah, they have a warming nature about them, which is cool. I think what helps him too is the fact is the they got the outfit down. Like, oh yeah, you put did. him in the right outfit, the dad fit, <laughs> and you just believe it. Like the phone, like, oh, okay. the phone, uh, dude. Hip I, <laughs> I saw that and was like, "That's what my Father's Day shoot was missing." Yeah. If I would have just yeah. had the phone clip, it would have been perfect. It would have brought it all together. When you were looking up outfits, you should have just looked this movie up, and you would have been like, "Oh, that's it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been perfect. Knew? Yeah, damn, I fucked up. Um, What's that rotten one say? Which one? Uh, it'd be a lie to call blockers a waste of time. It's just that it wastes its own time too often. Does it? <laughs> what Is that, that a mean? critic? A critic one? Uh, yeah, that's a critic review. Okay. I think it just means that it's meandering. <laughs> yeah, but like. But a three out of five is like still good. I mean, yeah, that's a sixty percent. You yeah. passed. You're yeah. getting a college degree. I know first. I, I'm more interested in the audience's bad I mean, takes or yeah. good takes. It's <laughs> half of the people who saw it were like, "Don't see this movie." Painfully unfunny, downright uncomfortable, just disgusting, not even that funny. Even the cast isn't great with an underperforming Leslie Mann, John Cena, and Ike Barinholtz. See, I think the parents are so good. Uh, look, I-, I could agree that maybe Ike Barinholtz, I could take him or leave him. I don't know who I'd switch him out with. Okay. You know, like, if I was like, oh, no, this white guy would be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know if I could find one. But Leslie Mann and John Cena are perfect. I think John Cena, like, I don't know if they've ever, like, cast him in a movie again that he fit a role so well. Like, I I just think it's just, it's so good. Really? Yeah, because, like, he plays, what else like, has this he been in? stereotypical, like, uh, 
action star, but it's just like, okay, yeah. sure, anybody that's 6'4", 260 can be an action star. But I don't think he's done that recently, right? He did, like, those early WWE movies, and then that was it, I right? mean, he's been doing Fast, and he, he's a superhero. Well, I mean, uh, I mean in Fast, different. that's different, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what else, yeah. I mean, What's the next movie? What's the next John Cena movie we're going to watch? Vacation Friends is the next one we're going to watch when the sequel drops later this month, right? Yeah. 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 Suicide Squad. I mean, but that's the know, same thing. Suicide nine. Squad, it's kind of He's the same funny thing. in that, though. Yeah, he's more comedic, I'd argue, than yeah. action star. The Bubble, which everybody hated. I still think we need to watch that. The Independent. I've never heard I of I mean, that. I don't disagree with that, though. I, I think they underutilized <gasps> John he's Cena. Gonna, oh, no. What a spoiler. I already, I've already. i been seeing that all over the internet. What? I'm not yeah. going to tell you, Eric. But whatever you do, please, <laughs> please don't go look at his filmography. Please yeah. don't do it. I'm not. Because you got to. It's a big spoiler. He has a ton of movies coming out and that are in post-production or pre- Yeah, post I mean, dude, I, I personally can't wait for uh, TMNT. That yeah, that's gonna, gonna be, be fire. Like, he might be. In he's in right that. Now. Yeah, he's Rocksteady. Yeah, of Bebop uh -oh. and Rocksteady fame. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess he really does either do superhuman or comedic genius. Yeah. Oof, playing with fire. God damn. And he's probably the star <laughs> in that. Yeah, he is the star in this. Yeah. Oh no. It's so bad. Like, well, he probably it, made bank. He's too. Er, I mean, I guess like he's done too many roles to do that. Like if that it's was a Nickelodeon his first, movie, but Go that ahead. was one of his first couple roles. I'd be like, cool, you know. Yeah, he was neck deep in <laughs> like, acting at he that did, point. He just did Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he, who he also plays an agent. Yeah, like like how do you do that? I mean, he did Doolittle. That's one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah, uh, Robbie Downey recently has talked about that. And he was just like, I knew I was untouched where I could do anything. And then they signed, it was like a big check. He and said, then I could say anti Semitic shit. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then it was bad. And then he's like, later on, him and his like, agent had rethought it. They're like, yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that one. Yeah, yeah. we fucked up. Yeah. He literally said, though, he's like, I thought I was untouchable. <laughs> like, I could do any genre. Oh, no. What a fool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think to say that the parents are bad or crazy, I even really like uh, John Cena's wife. What was yeah. her name? She yeah. Oh, I needed her. more of her in the film. Honestly, yeah. I don't know if I could have. But then again, more of it would have been it would have been weird because you know it's supposed to be the three parents, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we meet at the beginning. What is her name? Marcy. Marcy Mans. Um. But yeah, the little speech that she did, and then they found the address and just did. Oh wait, that's spoilers. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all my point. My bad. Oh uh, yeah, she's great. She's really good. Yeah, I I think yeah. overall like uh, like even like they have little like little roles for adults, and I thought they all like were like good, and they weren't too much. Like even Ooh, like man. the side adults, I thought were like the limo driver. I, w I don't know, I wouldn't call it spoiler. You're going to prom, you probably yeah. have a limo. Uh, but I thought he was hilarious in like the little bit he was in. Hannibal mm -hmm. Burris is fantastic oh, as the stepdad. Does not miss dude. as as the stepdad who who wants to co-parent so bad? Dude, they're he one co-parent so bad. They're like one interaction like is so good i just love that when he comes into the party not a spoiler hannibal versus like hey, hey yeah buddy, I love you. <laughs> he means so well yeah dude. he does oh man yeah i need know. more of him um, i think that's when hannibal's at his best when he's just like in little scenes here and, and there out. and he has that because it's the way his, his tone of voice that mcu shit yeah you get him for that little cameo and anything and it's just it's so good goddamn kevin feige he knew that yeah he knew um, so this made a fuck ton of money, huh? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Are they gonna make I mean, a sequel? I mean, budget's so low. <laughs> the budget is really low. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard about a sequel. I when it came out and it did as well as it did, I would thought it was going to. Yeah. I feel like twenty eighteen was just good for movies, so. Probably. Yeah. Um, how about the music though, huh? Oh, bop after bop. Uh, mm you don't Actually, think so? What? It's, it's I, don't, I don't shit? remember the music at all, uh, to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of Haley Stein, Steinfeld, uh, Love Myself, Twice. They play the song twice. I think it's mm -hmm. terrible every time. I hate it. I thought it, it was just generic, uh, <laughs> non-copyright, royalty-free music. <laughs> almost. You're First almost all, right. <laughs> Haley Steinfeld could do no wrong. I mean, that song is wrong, as a matter of fact. But also... <laughs> um, uh, the other song though was uh, the Lizzo. Is yeah, Lizzo. Yeah, Lizzo. the Lizzo. I'll take. I love Lizzo. She's delicious. They had, they had two Lizzo songs in here. I think this song by Haley Steinfeld though is just kind of whack. 
Oh, see, you know. I yeah, I would, I I would lean towards whack territory. Wow. It, it's just not a no. Mainly because I don't even remember it. <laughs> Because really? I thought it was just generic, you know. You know what though? I I think the the thing that hurt the song is that it was the corniest thing to to have play at any given moment. Oh, fair, fair. It couldn't have gotten any cornier, you yeah. know. Like any any anthem like that is ugh. I I don't know. Ugh. I feel like the the Lizzo stuff though was so higher that I didn't even really like. You know, I can't say the the music's bad. When was the Lizzo stuff playing? Uh, there was another a different Lizzo song because there were two, and I there's was like, I don't remember like that one. There's one in the beginning, and there's one in the end. Yeah. Um, okay. Good as hell was the one at the end, which is a bop. It's a good one. Yeah. Wow, they don't have anything for music here. It's just this, huh? Yeah, yeah they that's don't. Kinda, that's kind of dog shit. <laughs> they just want you to know that. Yeah. And then there was some other song, but like the Lizzo shit was good. Could have could have left the Haley Steinfeld there, but uh, you know. I'm also not a fucking tween or whatever, so yeah. what the fuck? Maybe, yeah, we maybe can't that's relate. it. It seems like that was written for the goddamn movie, the way they, the way they have it put in this little section. Kind of, right? Damn, them Drives about the, the message home. I love me. Gonna love myself. No, I don't need anybody else. That is the only line from that song, too, throughout the whole movie. I mean, that at the, it's nice at the prom when they're jamming out. Hey, yeah. It's I mean, a little bit royalty-free, but it, yeah. It, it, it is just a tiny bit royalty-free. <laughs> Um, all right, we got 19 seconds of vamp, 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 vamp. Um, I thought we vamped good. I mean, this is a great uh, follow-up to uh, Superbad, because this movie feels straight out of the Superbad universe. I mean, universe. you see who the producers are. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't know yeah. that until I just looked. Yeah, but and I mean, then Leslie Mann's, uh, what you call it, uh, her, her husband's the other guy that does these movies, the director. Judd the Apatow. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's it feel it's that. Oh, that's her husband. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think they're married. Leslie Mann and Jed Apto are married. Yeah. Are you sure? Uh huh. Oh yeah! Wow. Five bucks. Cause they're married kids are- <laughs> since '97. <laughs> yeah, because their kids are. Damn. I know yeah. she's in she's in uh, Euphoria. Uh, Euphoria. Who's this other one? So she's also. They were like in this. In, this is forty and knocked out. Oh and, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always played like the kids. Because they were like, who's gonna play our kids? I don't know our kids. Maybe. <laughs> Poor her though. She did the bubble. Iris. Oh rip. Yeah. And poor listener, because we're we're done. <laughs> Spoiler free. So on the count of three, we're gonna do thumbs up, thumbs down, for whether or not people should see blockers. Three, two, one. I was just wow. Yeah, it's a it's a middle of the road for me. Wow, we're really gonna have to dive into Neither that. Neither recommend nor you know deny. Tell you not to. <laughs> oh my god! All right, well. You're going to have to click in that top right-hand corner so that you can find out why Eric hates probably one of the best adult comedies to come out in the last 10 years. Um, yeah, oh. we're going to get real spoiler-free. Uh, we love you guys. Bye. Bye. See ya.